surgery work? Am I going to be able to walk back into Ryan's life? Check up on me. I'm fine, and I'm sure things are fine at Fusion as well. Hey, Mom, it's me. I just called to say hi. What's going on there? I'm so glad it's you, Kendall. I thought it was Randy. Is everything all right? Of course it is, honey, of course. I just had, um, some things to handle outside the office. Okay, uh, is it the meeting with the advertisers? No, no, no. That has been rescheduled for Thursday. But, um, listen, I thought the whole purpose of your leaving town was so that you were going to focus on your family, not stress about the business. Mom, it sounds like you were the one who was stressing when you answered the phone. Me stressing? No, 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 really. Um, quite the opposite. I, uh, am perfectly capable of handling everything life throws at me. Thank you. <laughs> well, what about Ryan? What about Brian? Well, you could always call him and have him help you when your problems start to mount up. Ryan has cambias to handle. I don't expect him to want me to put my problems on his plate. Ah, okay, so you admit that you're having problems. No, I admit no such thing. Mom, I can call Ryan. No, no, don't do that. No, I, I will get a hold of Ryan myself and, uh... And I'll take care of everything, and, and you just go ahead and you focus on those three boys in your life and give all those three boys my love. Would you do that? Okay, I will. You take care of yourself, okay? I can do that, honey. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> Bye. I love you, Mom. Bye. <gasps> well, Kendall thinks that you should be helping me. Hmm. And what do you think? I think you're already helping me. Your heart stopped. They had to do CPR. But you finished the surgery, right? I mean, you fixed my spine? Yes. We removed the scarring that was there and reconnected the healthy tissues. But we'll have to see if my stem cell therapy generates new growth. That will be the key to reversing the paralysis. How long? Well, the swelling must go down enough before we can even test your progress. So now the next course of action is patience. Patience isn't overrated virtue. Well, it's not a virtue at all, actually. It's, it's a tool. And I suggest you learn to use it. Remember, healing requires rest. So close your eyes and relax. That's in order. Okay, what's the real prognosis? I couldn't tell if you were sugarcoating her chances or just trying to scare her. Well, she may regain use of her legs or not. And as I said before, attitude can be critical. If she tries to rush her recovery, all of my efforts may have been for nothing. She'll never walk again. Hey. I hope you're hungry. Oh, not anymore. Not too bad. You needed to keep up your strength. So eat. How about some cinnamon raisin toast? Or bacon? <laughs> Maybe an egg burrito. Oh. All right, let's not forget that you're in a coma for almost a year. Why don't we ease into the solids gradually? I'm sick of easing into things. I want to start living my life in 3D again. Mm, well, as the wise man keeps saying, you have to have patience. <laughs> Easy for you to pontificate. One minute is like an hour to me, and one week is like an eternity. 
Mm. Especially when I have nothing to do but brood. Why don't I bring you some crossword puzzles? You know, and now all I can think about, aside from not walking, is the funeral I guess I must have had last year. Well, if it means anything to you, it really was a beautiful memorial service. Everyone came, of course. Everyone who was anyone in Pine Valley. But you know, funerals aren't exactly uplifting, so why don't we think about something more positive? Okay. Why don't you tell me all the happy news of Pine Valley? Joe Martin retired to Florida. Okay. <laughs> what about Jake? I mean, you said he married Amanda. Yeah, and they're blissfully happy taking care of Trevor. Hmm. Trevor, your son. Yeah. We just got another tooth. <laughs> it makes a grand total of four. I know how much being a father has meant to you. When you lost Leora, you went to a really dark place. Yeah. But that's all in the past now. I'm glad. You seem... Good. Trevor changed my life. Yeah, you know, I went back and forth on the whole wanting kids, but I can still remember the day that they told me I couldn't have one of my own. Biology has nothing to do with being a parent. It's about the bond that you make with that child. It's like a spiritual connection. No matter whose blood is running through his little veins. Are you saying Jake is just as much a father to Trevor as you are? Trevor? I doubt he has the depth of feeling that I do. But of course I wouldn't allow my son to live with a man if I doubted he cared. Well, still, it couldn't have been easy for you to let him go. No, it wasn't. Believe me, I know what it's like to live in a home with a parent who doesn't want to be there. Amanda is no Vanessa. No, no, of course not. But my mother didn't love my father. She planned on running away with another man. It devastated him. It drove him to... I just wanted my son to live in a better place than that. So I realized I had to back off, you know, ease the tension. Give everybody a break, some breathing room. Give my son a gift of having a real family. That's an amazing gift. I didn't feel I had much of a choice. The situation kind of forced my hand. doing? She ate a little. It's a good start. I, uh, I know she's in a fragile state, physically and mentally. You think it's a good idea to show your hand like that? Show my hand? What are you talking about? Greenlee told me that she and Jake are friends. Aren't you worried that when she finally gets back to Pine Valley, she'll tell him? Tell him what? Trevor isn't really your son. 